In this tutorial I will show you how to make this pencil case. I start with what used to be a box, a cardboard box. I took a piece of cardboard that is exactly the size of seven of these rulers. In the middle I have exactly one ruler. I make sure that I can bend the pencil holder in three places. Once inwards and once exactly in the middle folding outwards. And in order to make folding easier I drew a line and then I scratched it with scissors. For reinforcement I glued two pieces of cardboard on each side of the pencil case. Now I'm taking a piece of crafts foam that is as wide as the pencil case. I bend it. I'm making a slight stretch with scissors without cutting the foam paper. And now I can start planning this side of the pencil case. I'm taking the ruler and marking the space for the pencils. Four dots to hold a pencil. I make as many dots as I can, an even number. Now using small scissors I will start making the cuts. When you finished with the cuts you can start inserting the elastic into the cuts. Glue on the other side Insert, then mark the size of the pencil and insert into the next one. You can put a bit of glue to keep the elastic in place. I finished gluing the elastic, now I will place the ruler in the middle and I will now mark the second folding line. Now I can start planning the second part of the pencil case. On this side too I will use a few elastics and also I want to do something that's not standard. Trim off the excess of plastic. Then I will make two holes, bend it. And same here. Make more holes and insert more elastic. Now that you finished with the design, place the inside of the pencil case onto the cardboard. Use the ruler to hold it exactly in the location where, where it's folding. Start gluing the foam paper onto the cardboard. Now move on to the second side. Take a piece of elastic and glue it between the foam paper and the cardboard. And this piece of elastic will be used to hold the pieces together. Glue the elastic and then glue the foam paper here on the sides and then continue gluing it on the other side. Now take another piece of foam and start gluing it around the pencil case 
on the outside. Let this piece free and continue gluing. Trim off the excess. Around the corners just a little bit. Now cut a strip of foam paper that is exactly as wide as the pencil case. Cut the strip exactly in the middle and start gluing the strip on the sides of the pencil case. Start with this part and then here. You can press, collect the excess of glue and continue gluing. Trim off the excess around the corners and your pencil holder is ready. And for those of you who saw my doll pencil cases, you probably realize then that this pencil case is the enlarged version of my Monster High doll pencil case. You can make them in all colors with various arrangements inside 